Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at a verbal reasoning type question that looks at algebra. Hayden, what are you doing? Oh, I have no idea how this works. You, we've been planning this video for four days. Yeah, but I knew you were going to do the video, so I was just going to take notes. Right, so, okay, if I said to you A plus B, you'd say? Uh, app. Hmm. Okay, so this video is for anyone who wants help with their verbal reasoning algebra questions. Let's take a look. On the screen now is our first example. Now, I said earlier how this uses algebra. It doesn't go into much detail. It's not tricky algebra. It's actually a really straightforward question type. And the best way to show you is by jumping straight in. So let's take a look. If A equals one, B equals two, C equals 10, D equals 11, and E equals nine, what is the answer to this sum written as a letter? Now, you're not gonna make the same mistake as Hayden earlier, where you're thinking that we're adding letters. No, we're going to use what the letters represent, which will be a number. So let's take a look, B. Well, you're given the code, so make sure you write above B what it's actually worth. B is worth two, so we have two here, plus E, and E at the top is nine, so we have two plus nine, Now's the time to do your maths, mental arithmetic, two plus nine, hopefully we all know is 11, but that's not the answer. Remember it says written as a letter. So we go back to our code and find 11. 11 is here, it's D. So the answer to B plus E equals D. And we put that as our answer and we move on. Okay, so now we know how simple this is, we really can whiz through these examples. And the technique is simple. Substitute the letter for the number in the code above. Let's take a look, we're going to go straight into D. D at the top here is eight, so we have eight, multiplied by B, which is four, so we write down eight times four, and now we have another step, we're going to subtract A, and here it is 12. So when you have more than one thing to do, just work left to right. So first we have eight times four, eight times four, if you know your times tables, is 32, and we've still got to subtract the 12. So we've got 32 now, take away A, which is 12, the answer is 20, last step, change it back into a letter. Go to the top, find 20, and the answer is C. It's as simple as that. So here is another example for us to work through together. Now, like I said before, we work from left to right through these questions, and I know what some of you might be thinking, what about the order of operations? Do we have to go to a different place to start off with? And the answer is no. This is not a maths test, this is verbal reasoning. They're not going to try and trick you. You always work left to right, Division and multiplication will always come first. So there's no need to worry about that at all. So with that in mind, let's take a look at this one. C, let's swap it in really quickly now. It's 24 divided by D, which is 12, multiplied by B, which is two, plus E, which is eight. So we've got our maths now. Let's do that in order. 24 divided by 12 is two. Two times two is four. Then we have to add the eight on at the end. Four plus eight equals 12. Ah. I've already used 12 earlier on. I remember that it's D. So I'm just gonna check at the top. Is 12 D? Yes, D equals to 12. The answer to the maths question is 12. The answer to the question is D. On the screen now is a chance for you to have a go yourself. So use the technique we've talked about, substitute the letters for numbers, do the maths, and then swap it back to a letter at the end. Select your answer and put it in the comment section down below. So hopefully that video has helped you to solve these types of questions and you've realized that they're not too tricky at all. Stick around for some more Kent Test videos in the future and we'll see you next time. Was that all right, Hayden? Hey, quite straightforward in the end, so did you get it, okay? Oh, it's a great video. Um, I didn't really, didn't really understand any of it. Could you, oh, you're off. Would you mind explaining to me again or was that? 